you know, and, and a quick plug for, uh, I have the October 2019 gray sheet here on my desk. So we're, that means we're already working on the November issue. And we're pretty excited because the November issue is going to feature uh, an article about uh, super collector Deloy Hansen. And as most people realize, Deloy has a mega collection worth in the hundreds of millions already. And he's changing all the norms about collecting as we know it today and kind of upturning the market on its end. And a lot of a number of dealers have varying opinions about that. So we uh, set about getting getting to hear about those opinions and we're going to feature them in the November issue. So that's exciting. Um, and, and I, and I think that's that. the key is it's not, a, for lack of a better word, it's not a fluff piece. It's kind of like, what are other people who are have important positions in the market? What's their opinion? And and because it's not like this is the yeah. first time that's dealers, happened. Dealers want to know how this. How does this affect us? Right. You know what? Is, what does this mean that some somebody's coming in and spending four hundred thousand dollars on a mercury dime that was estimated at twenty thousand in the auction? What you know? Obviously, there's an underbidder. There, I think there were two in, right. in some of the cases. So it's he's not alone. I mean, it's not a huge market either of people who are willing to chase. But we're starting to see some irrational exuberance at certain parts of the market, while really at the the rest of the market, it's kind of seemingly to languish in some in some way. So right. it's an uneven market, as it always is in the rare coin business. But this is especially interesting. Yeah. So so I think it's I think it comes from a very interesting point of view. Is so it's a, I think it's I think it's a good read for sure. Yeah. Yeah. 